do, do you think much back on your career, you know, at this stage now? Is it something that comes up a lot or that you, you, you reflect on a lot? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm a publican by trade. So, you know, people come in and there's always an old slag or something about hurling matches, you know. I'm So, yeah, just always. Hurling is 24-7. Like, and if you're part of the hurling family, you know, you're in it for life and that's it, you know. Mm. And what age did you say hurling club up until? Oh, uh, I was, I suppose, I uh, played with Kimalak until my late 30s and then uh, where I have a pub in Brough, I played Brough for, Brough for six, seven years as well. It's a, mm. I'd and say until when I was a bit long on the tooth anyway. It's a, yeah. <laughs> and did you see, um, you know, when, as you mentioned Brough there, did you see uh, Sean Finn coming through and did you realise the sort of player that was coming? Yeah, Sean, he worked for us there in the bar there for a while, you know, and he's outstanding, an outstanding individual is what I call him, you know. Uh, you know, you could see from his development there, all up along from minor and that there, and his total commitment to to, to the thing, you know. He, he, I never, even when he's come to work there, he'd bring a bottle of water and uh, nuts and seeds, and I was looking at him and saying, what are you doing, eating them, you know? And, uh, <laughs> you know, that's why, and that was since he was about 17 or 18. So they'd been conditioning themselves there, you know, for a long time, you know. And was he a good barman? Oh, yeah, he, a big problem with him was the women, yeah, yeah. They were all trying to come in to see him, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. He, uh -huh. He's a good bearman, yeah. Excellent, excellent person, excellent person. Yeah. When you see the, the level that this Limerick team is at and the physical shape they're in, and, you know, you contrast that with, you know, maybe even 10 years ago, I mean, it's incredible what they're doing. And can you give any sort of insight into the levels that they're going to, the amount of effort and time that's been put in? Well, you know, I, I don't know much about what's happening in training wise, but just to talking to lads and that there, you know, they're, they're very competitive amongst themselves, even, you know, and they're always trying to strive to be the best. And that's competitiveness within the camp is a very important thing, you know, and no one is bigger than the team in that team, you know. Yeah, Dave, yeah. just a quick one. It's a, it's a year since uh, the COVID All Ireland. Uh, it was this day of last year. What was that like? You were, I'm sure you were probably there in 2018 or you were watching. Yeah, Chelsea. yeah, it was, what, yeah, what, what yeah. was it like last year in comparison to that? Like, well, it, it was lucky enough to where we were, we were open for it, you know. So uh, there was a great atmosphere that day and a couple of days. And, uh, you know, it's, we were waiting a long time for one of these things to come along and uh, they seem to be coming fairly rapid at the moment. But uh, we're going to keep taking them as long as they keep coming, you know. Yeah. Uh, it was a brilliant day. The, the, the last couple of years have been, you know, Brilliant, brilliant title.